block D, uh, I am giving 3 in 1 block or you can say a lumbar plexus block from the inguinal root. Here you can palpate the, I am telling you some basic landmark, this is the antispray alex spine here, this is the pubic tubercle here, grind crease here. Now in thick patient you have to just localize the femoral artery, localize the femoral artery. This is the location of Now here you can mark it. the femoral RT and now just put the finger. Now thick patients it is sometimes difficult to palpate. Yes. So by the side of the femoral artery, keeping the angle about 30 degree, I am using 21 gauge, one and a half inch long needle and I have taken 7 ml of BP weekend and the rest amount 12, 13 ml I have taken distal water. So the tip of my finger is over the femoral artery. Now here, insert the needle, x Hmm. So now start injecting just after piercing the skin and gradually advance the needle in cathelic directions. Take precaution because there is vessels, the femoral vessels are there. So don't give accidental intravascular injection. So before injecting always aspirate and advance the needle. Always aspirate and keep watch on the pulse also. Aspirate and inject and advance the needle. Rotate, aspirate and inject. Rotate, aspirate and inject. Aspirate and then inject. Now the block is complete. And now just check the regurgitation. It's slow. It's coming. Now remove the needle, apply the pressure here and massage this area but before this you just apply a distal pressure here in order to disperse the solution more in cranial directions. Now this is the method for giving 3 in 1 block. Most of the time this 3 in 1 block is 2 in 1 and the obturator. 3 in 1, 3 stands for the femoral nerve, the obturator nerve and the let loose nerve of type LCNT nerve. So usually it is 2 in 1 block and most of the time obturator nerve get escaped from this block.